Okay, so here's a short overview of the project that I'm working on, and it's a parking sensor, just like the one you might have in your car, and it's actually even better because it shows you the actual distances, so you know how far away the objects are. And so for this project I'm using the Arduino Uno, together with the free ultrasonic distance sensors, and one 128 by 64 pixel OLED screen. If you want to use it in your car or any means of transport that you might have, you can very easily replace those sensors with the photoproof ones. So let me show you how this project is done. Actually before I do so, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is PCBWay. If you use the link in the description, you can get 10 PCBs for free, only paying for shipping, but you can also get other services like the 3D printing, CNC machining and much more, so make sure to check them out. Back to our project, this is a very common ultrasonic distance sensor, which you can get for less than $1 and it works in the way that it first sends the ultrasonic wave, and when the wave gets reflected, the receiver receives the wave and reports the time it took before sending and receiving the sound. In practice, if you pull the trigger high for at least 10 microseconds, the echo pin will be high for the time it took for the sound to travel. And since we know the speed of sound, which is the same as ultrasound, we can easily calculate the distance. Just don't forget to divide it by 2, because the sounds need to travel back and forth. Thankfully there is a function on Arduino to measure the length of the pulse, which is called pulse in, so a sketch with one sensor only takes few lines of code. By the way, this code is from the free online Arduino emulator called Walkway, which I'm using for testing. It's just like having Arduino in the browser, very helpful. For designing the content of the OLED screen, I'm using Photopia, which is a free online graphics editor, very similar to Photoshop. And while you can use any kind of editor, for example MS Paint, it's just much easier to use all the extra functions like distorting elements, adding the outlines or filling objects with patterns. It's always a good idea to create what's called a mockup and show it on the OLED screen. So here is the preview of the full screen image, and here it is displayed on the OLED display. And the graphics is done specifically in the way that if you use yellow and blue OLED display, the car will be yellow, while the distance indicator will be blue. But of course you can use any color of the display you want. I think that they all look great. As mentioned already, using the Walkway Online Emulator is great because you can put together the whole circuit without touching the real Arduino and only upload it to the real board once you are certain that it works properly. It certainly saves a lot of headaches. The used font is not available in the UHG library, so we have to recreate it using the Phony application. And since we only need digits, it doesn't take too much time. After that, we export it in the BDF format and use the BDF to UHG utility to create a C file. Like everything else, once you know how to do it, it's simple. If you want to see the final project, there is a link below the video for the final walkway project which you can play with, and of course make any changes or improvements. The Photoshop image source is on GitHub, and if you actually copy the link for this image, you can open it right in Photopia without actually downloading it first. I hope you like this project, and if you want to know more, please click this video to play the full tutorial. If you have any questions, please put those down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, and bye. Oh yeah, and let me know if I should talk faster.